So as we look at that oval window, we are now getting access to the inner ear. This is the final aspect of uh, the processing of hearing. So as I mentioned from the stapes, I like that. Let me hide the stapes here. And then you have the oval window. Let me back up a little bit. So that's the oval window. Um, here you have the inner ear. Uh, the inner ear, it may not look like it from this point, but this is actually, uh, here let me highlight the inner ear, this aspect right here. This is housed in bone. This is this is a, a bony labyrinth. labyrinth. It's, it's surrounded by bone. So just imagine um, your, te your uh, temporal bone there, and then you have all these all these canals that are running through the temporal bone that are cutting through it and and then you have these layers of, of uh, nervous tissue here that house the inner ear okay so the labyrinth begins with uh, what's called the vestibule okay so the vestibule is an organ where uh, equilibrium takes place and um, the vestibule is complemented by the semicircular canals. These semicircular canals, as you can tell, they're kind of going in every which direction. I'll deal with these in, the, in greater detail in other videos. In fact, I'll deal with each aspect of the inner ear in greater detail later on. Right now, we just want to cover the, the on-the-surface structure. So these are the semicircular canals, and as you can see, they, they permeate into the vestibule uh, in five different spots. So you have, here, let me get a better view here of, of what I'm talking about. So let me change change my rotation here so you can get a better view. So you can see here one, two, three, four, five, five different places that the semicircular circular canal is going to the vestibule. So this is very important for for equilibrium. Um, they are filled with a fluid called endolymph, and they provide sensory input for acceleration, deceleration, head rotation. So this is responsible for, for basically the balancing act that is a human. So as you can imagine, when you're out there playing sports, basketball, whatever the case may be, um, you know, this organ, this tiny little organ in your head, we have two of them in each ear, is, is the cause of your balance. Now, you know, consider, consider the fact that it's a fluid and as this fluid moves it moves tiny little hairs that are in this organ and those hairs will send nerve uh, nerve messages uh, will send nerve impulses to the brain and then the brain processes all this information so uh, think back on the last time that you were dizzy you know if you try if you spin around in one place the fluid in your ear is moving around also and those tiny little hairs are moving around and if you spin around for a, for a while it's going to take a while be before all that movement in your ear stops because it is a fluid and that's that's the cause of your dizziness and why you can't really walk straight okay so the final part of our inner ear is our snail looking uh, aspect here called the cochlea uh, the cochlea is the organ for hearing as you can see, it's a coiled tube, and inside this coiled tube, there are three fluid-filled chambers. So the inner ear is essentially filled with all this fluid that um, that catches the vibrations. Now, now the cochlea specifically catches vibrations for for sound, and the fluid inside of there, uh, as that oval window here, as the oval window vibrates because of the uh, the sound pressure. Let me back up because of the the sound pressure or the the wind pressure from the um, external acoustic meatus and the tympanic membrane vibrating, uh, that pressure builds up and it causes waves. It causes waves in the cochlea and those waves also move tiny little hairs that are all over the cochlea and those tiny little hairs cause nerve impulses that are also sent to the brain. And so the, the main nerves that are here, let me see if I can get a better view, uh, this is actually a facial nerve. This is going to uh, up to your face but this nerve right here the cochlear nerve let me see if I can rotate a little quicker you can see here is, is attached to the uh, posterior aspect of the cochlea there and that's the nerve fiber that sends the nerve signal to your brain and then here you have your vestibular cochlear um, nerve 
okay? And so this is the one that's connected to your balance and that sends the nerve impulses to your brain and, uh, and your brain processes all this information. So when you're going for a layup and somebody gets in front of you, then your body kind of processes how to move to get out of the way and at the same time get out of the way but also advance to the basket and get a layup in or throw a football or whatever the case may be. But in any case, as you can tell, this is a pretty intricate system here. It's pretty amazing. And uh, that does it for your hearing. And now I know at the end that we kind of talked a little bit about um, your equilibrium and balance. But as you can see, they're intimately connected inside of your inner ear. So it's kind of hard to to just strictly talk about the cochlea without involving the, the vestibule and the semicircular canals, seeing that uh, that they uh, they share the same the same area. Okay, so that does it for our hearing, our ear. We discussed our external ear, our outer ear, our middle ear, and then our inner ear. So good luck in your studying.